Hello and welcome, this is STR Inc. and today I'm playing more Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. Let's go ahead and hop in. I've uh, got a new build to try out today for our encounter with uh, air. So let me check out my AC design, my AC data. Kind of want to make sure that I have this guy saved. Okay. I think I do. Good. And um, let's go into AC design and we're going to start making some alterations. So this is um, a double needle build, I believe. 60 SMA. Yep. And we're going to swap it out. So this is something a little bit similar to what I've been trying before, um, but a little bit different. So we're going to swap the head out to the barrel. And let me just double check that's the right number in case there's more than one, but it looks like that's right. And the core, we're going to go to, uh, it looks like we already have the core selected we need. And then the TN Lows. Okay, I think we're good there. And then the legs are something that I want to have to purchase. So there is um, another set of tank legs that I'll have to swap out for. And then this says for generator it wants the vp 20d and i wonder if i have got that one yet because i feel like that one oh i do have it good okay and we're going to respec and get terminal armor for this build and the legs are going to be the ve 42b the like hover tank set so let's go see i think they're pretty expensive so we're going to have to sell probably a couple of things yeah at 490 so let's go ahead and sell enough so that we can respec as well um i think it will focus on the weapon stuff so i don't think i ever really used the pulse shield or pulse buckler so we'll take them both out and then let's see we'll keep some of these heavy hitters but pulse shield launcher i think that'll be worth letting go and let's go back in here and we will Let's see. Go back to the legs. There we go. And I think I'll have to sell a little bit more so I can respec here in a minute. Um, let's do something like. I'm trying to think of what would be the best thing to sell at this point. Hmm. Of the stone baton. That'll be enough to fundraise this with. Okay, so back to AC design. We'll go back in and we're going to put on our tank here. So this has some improvements in defense. It might be crucial for us. I think that also it might have some speed with it that the other one does not have. And then the Abbott FCS is this guy's we're going to build. And this is a interesting YouTube build that I found that I really like. Um, like, this guy can crush the boss super fast. I think it might take me a few tries, but we'll see. Alright, now let's go in and do a respec on our OS. Okay. So, let's get into... I think we need a combination of kinetic and energy. Um, let's focus on energy first. And also, let's do, I guess we'll go ahead and do Kinetic too. I think we do want our direct hit modifier up, at least that high. And I want to max this out before going back. Okay, that leaves us with 16. That would be 8. Let's see, that leaves us with 8. So we can do one of the other. I think that we would probably want to do... Hmm, that's a tough call. I guess we'll go this route. That leaves us a little bit below on the repair kits, but we used up all the points, so... Alright, let's try playing this air a time or two. I'm not going to bother with uh, the training just because it might uh, not be very realistic. Red 
system. Activating combat mode. Okay, now this tank is probably going to handle a bit differently. I will stop you. For sure. And the Cylon. Carrying a portion of resolve on the wings of this machine. Symbiosis of shared life. Oh wow, yeah, this is making a difference. On the uh, column there. <laughs> wow, this build is uh, pretty off compared to the other one. First try of the day, already getting these massive blasts. Man. Oop, missed this one. There we go. Slow down just a little bit, please. <laughs> well, getting stunned too much here, I think. Ah. Probably should be dodging some of these. <laughs> oh, I forgot to equip the terminal armor, too. That's another fault of mine. Uh, but that'd require a respec at this point, so hmm. Well, I'm very curious if uh, respecing will help or not. Or not. I did pretty well for the first attempt. You know, actually, I just remember to another setting I might need to turn on is. Let's see, maintain target assist, quirk switch control top A, purge weapon, da da da. I thought that there was like a more permanent lock, but maybe I've already got it on. Okay. This feels like an aggro one. Yeah, there's no chance I'll win that one. Let's go ahead and restart. Main system activating combat mode. I will stop you and the Cylon. Carry the ocean resolve from the wings of this machine. Symbiosis is a share of life. Together. 
darn it. I'm just gonna run away. See if I can avoid that cheap shot that it gets after being vulnerable. Oh. Apparently not. Alright, where are you at now? Come on here. Okay, let's get terminal armor on. Can't believe I didn't save uh, some points for it, so let's go back in and We'll have enough money to respec again. Let's sell off one more part. I wish respecing didn't cost money because it seems so frequent that uh, you have to do it. Okay. So, repair kit optimization. Let's see, how can I make this better? wonder if the direct hit damage tuning isn't as worth it. Okay. Hmm. that and before we go any further let's get terminal armor and I mean for five points so I just don't know if it's gonna be worth it I'm just kind of alternate between these two and how about let's see take this one up one more repairing more Point sounds better than damage mitigation, honestly. Uh, got 10 or 18, or 10 or 8, so let's see. I did 8 there, that leave nothing. Um, I can't really do anything else in the weapons, so what about here? No, I guess quick turn would be the closest thing. I wonder if that would be worth getting. We'll try it. I'm a little bit skeptical. Let's see, the last one's 5% more. Um, amount of damage that we're doing with our weapons, I'm not sure it matters. Um, maybe repairing makes the most sense. Okay, so we need to put on the terminal armor before we forget. There we go. And let's see, our next step should be to, I had an idea, hmm. oh yeah, the quick turn, hopefully I can remember the key press for it, I kind of don't remember the control for that one, but hopefully it'll come up. I feel like it's just a direction plus X or something. I'll try it out once we get in. I don't care if I need to restart it a time or two. I will stop you and the silo. Carrying our shared resolve on the wings of this machine. No, 
like an aggressive run. Having that uh, direct hit modifier already. <laughs> Alright, this one's not feeling like a good run. Let's take it back. Here comes the freebie hits. I can't avoid. There we go. There were no winners at the close of the Coral War. When the storm of fire finally faded, only the ashes of civilization remained. Ruined and haunted, the corporations made a joint announcement with the Planetary Closure Administration. Rubicon was to be abandoned, left a dead planet forever. Meanwhile, the monster who burned the stars 
vanished into the flames, never to be heard from again. Yet history would forever remember. The Fires of Raven Okay, we did it. That was incredibly difficult. I'm uh, so glad I found that build suggestion because it made things way easier than anything else I was trying and I do wish that I didn't have to resort to uh, such an OP build, but man, I was just finding error. Extremely difficult to beat. I'm just going to let the credits roll and we will uh, see what happens after.
Unlock condition verified. Playing back message. Sender, Handler Walter. Six two one. Looks like you got the job done. You chose to carry our burden and right the wrongs of the past. I'm sorry. And I'm grateful. Six two one. There's nothing left to bind you. Whatever choices you make now, I just hope you find your true potential. Okay, well, nice. A little message from Walter at the end. Registration number RB23. Call sign Raven. Authentication complete. Removing MIA status. Restoring access privileges. This is All Might, the mercenary support system. Raven, you've returned. Welcome back. All Might anticipates great things from you. Okay, so I think that maybe this is the new game plus. I saw that there was something. Yeah. Yep, that's it. So let's see. It looks like I can actually go back and do other things. I wonder. I must. I'm assuming I must take the fork in the road uh, by replaying everything. Um, sequentially, but I'm curious about all this. Um, let's look in the part shop and see if there's anything new to buy. I know, it looks like, at least in this area, it's all the same stuff as before, so it looks like we didn't unlock anything new. Um, I want to say I read just a tiny bit, let's try to avoid spoilers for New Game Plus, but it looked like maybe there's a couple parts that I can pick up along the way in the game has, and this is a spoiler, maybe three endings. Um, so that's interesting. I'm not positive I'll do much more playtime on this game. Um, I'm still thinking it through. I'll, I'll read a little bit more about New Game Plus, but I'd kind of like to finish another game or two that has been on the back burner, including Hogwarts Legacy. And uh, yeah, so we'll see. Um, just thinking through what else might there be to do. So, hmm. I think I'll just go ahead and call it a stream for today. So, I was pretty happy to see the ending, and we'll keep it short and simple today and go ahead and roll credits. Say, so, thanks for watching. This has been ST Rink. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube. I'm going to upload on YouTube soon. Thanks. Have a good one.